Okay, this is a Honda TRX350. It's not been starting anymore. If you get stuck and your battery is not cooperating, remember, because we don't use that often so we forget, you can start it putting on this. I replaced the battery and it's still not working. You can hear that click. When you just do one click like that, it's the solenoid relay for the starter. So I will shut it off. We're going to replace it. I ordered that online, eBay. I think it was $7.99, tax included. So it's very cheap, shipped very fast. And replacing it, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. So we're going to do that. But this is what a be careful with the bolt. This is what it's looking like. So let's uh, let's replace that. The battery was due anyway. It was nine years old, so it did plenty of its work. So remove your seat. Remove that little cap right there. It's covering the battery. And the starter as well. And first thing you want to do is disconnect your battery. Whenever you work on the electrical. Remove the negative. So there is a battery compartment. So battery is disconnected. The starter relay, solenoid relay is right here. Connected on those two poles and goes and connects right behind. So we're going to take that apart replace it and put it back together. You have two nuts to remove the connections. I don't have any socket with me, so I'll use what I have. It would be much easier with some sockets. Watch out, you have that little washer as well, don't lose it. Put it right here on the seat. Here we go, two connections are removed. You have next screw right behind. But I'm going to remove that and remove that assembly. And this one just needs to be pulled up. Here we are. So to remove that connection, you see, I popped out that assembly to just a slide and snap fixation. And to unclip that, you have a little tab on the other side. Right here. Just lift that tab right here. And pull that one out. And that's it. Here it is. need to push it outside, remove the connection. That's the old one and you can see it's pretty corroded. So it certainly lived its life. It's a 
14 years old. So, new one, the same thing in reverse order. Don't forget to slide your connection through. Ready? Slide that one in. A little bit looser than the other one, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's snap the starter right here. Right direction, of course. It fits. So it's going to make that a lot easier. it's back in place just put the back screw and then connect both reconnect the battery and we're done okay it's back in place back screw is attached you know, just bolt those two connections, connect that together. Just connect those two together. Put back the washers. Okay, now it's tight, put back the two covers. There we go, we're going to connect the battery. We go. Not the best part, hopefully the best part. Is it working? Okay, the solenoid, the starter relay solenoid has been replaced. Let's test it. Turn it on. Hopefully it works. No, it still does a click. Listen. Okay. So, what I heard, 95% uh, if not more, percent of the time when you have that issue not starting, that will be the battery. If it's not the battery, uh, the remaining few percent should be the starter relay. However, it is not it. Then there is many other things it could be as the starter motor. The starter motor is just right below here. You see that right here? It's that little beast right here. Connected on the motor, of course, and connected on the solenoid relay. So, that should be the last issue I can think of. And you have sort of way you can test that. First thing, 
Okay, if you have a millimeter or voltmeter, got one. Put down on 40 DVC, DCV, VDC, however you want to call that, and once I ground that. trying to do that with one hand since I'm holding the camera that's gonna be a challenge okay if I go on a positive I touch it okay I got 12.4 volt it's good Run that somewhere else. I'll try to stop that here. <coughs> so good voltage on the battery, of course. I'm gonna go. I'm going to go on the positive of the solenoid, and I got 12.57, which this is what I got on the battery as well. So a couple of things you can do. Uh, I know the solenoid is good because I just replaced it. But you see the juice is going all the way. All the way to the solenoid, but it's still not starting and it's still clicking. <coughs> One thing you can do is touch the two connection of the solenoid. If the starter was working according to what I was told, it should spark, there is nothing happening. So, looks like the starter is definitely the piece that needs to be replaced. And for that, and for that, that will be the next step. Uh, I look at that, but I already done a few checks. Uh, you can find that on eBay around like $30 plus tax, free shipping. To get an exact replacement you have to remove the air box i think you have a connection on the back as well i've seen few videos few other videos existing on youtube on youtube and uh and then you remove your starter motor put the new one and should be good to go so that's going to be an interesting project another thing that can be tried to s confirm it is a starter apparently it will work so let's try live i'm not tried that yet I will turn it on and apparently so it's turned on see it's not working and apparently if you knock a little bit to shake the brushes you let's see if it does help it does not maybe I did not knock I cannot get it started that way. It is supposed to work that way, so. So the good thing is that on the wrencher, which I've been using for a while, but I don't want to abuse it, you always, always have the manual one. So it starts and runs good. So it should be the starter motor, hopefully. If not, it could be the, the plug also going to the, the spark plug. So that will be the next step of the video. Okay, one more thing you can do to show the, or to check that your starter is shocked. Your starter motor. You see that little connection right there. It's covered by a rubber cap. I removed it. Just put your voltmeter or multimeter right here on that prong it's not easy to keep it connected and, and on the other side just got the positive prong of the solenoid or the starter relay and look at the voltmeter it's indicating 12.7 which is the voltage of the battery the charge, the actual charge. So it is proving that you have current going all the way to the starter motor and it clicks and doesn't want to start. So 
this is it so again this is that connection basically feeding your starter motor so next step i will do that in a different video we'll replace the starter motor it's going to be an interesting project it's not as easy as replacing a solenoid relay but it should not be too bad